Um, hello everybody, I'm uh, Elysium and for my first video I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. Now uh, I thought I'd you know try out this jetliner which comes with the Far Aerospace mod. Um, turn the engines on here and get it flying. I do quite like a lot of the mods available for KSP and the devs make it so easy to mod that uh, it's got a really good modding community and a lot of the stuff there adds a lot to the game considering it's in beta. Um, you can get a lot from you know adding stuff to the game at this stage. And uh, what's, what's this? Oh my god, we've been hit by some missiles. Um, well, there's not a lot left. Oh shit. Um, and part of our wing is just... No, no, it's not going to land. It's just going to keep flying around. Um, oh, no, no, it's crashed. Right. Um, I think you can see our cockpit over there. Yep, there in the distance. So, oh, at least that survived. Let's see if we can find what attacked us. Um, no, no, this is another bit of wing. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. It's six kilometers up in the air, so I guess at least part of the plane took off. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, that's, uh, that's quite a heavily armed boat there. That destroyer's got a cannon and five missiles on one side. I guess the other side is more that they fired at us. That symbol there of the dragon is uh, the Evil Sticks Corporation. So they must have attacked us being jealous of our uh, funky jetliner. It's time to respond. Um, but it looks like everyone survived, so at least there was no loss of life. But uh, we, we can't let this stand. We should avenge the attack on uh, the Kerbal Space Center. So, I uh, I think we'll attack back with a, with a space plane. We've got to take that destroyer out before we can shoot down anything else. Now, let's, let's make it a, uh, a VTOL plane, so vertical takeoff and landing. And we'll use the damned robotics Rototron to try and use vectoring thrust on the engines rather than the typical, you know, two engines pointed down and then a, an engine pointed rearwards, which you turn on and off depending on which direction you're traveling. Let's actually try and get some vectored thrust going like the uh, the Harrier does. The Harrier being a pretty awesome piece of kit. It's a shame that it's becoming a bit obsolete, but uh, hopefully the F-35 will sort that, but the F-35 is still having its fun in development stage. Now, the tail fin I'm using there is actually from the, uh, the TV Aerospace mod, which adds a load more parts to do with uh, planes. Um, uh, uh, turn on part clipping to try and get the uh, twin intake next to the nose, just to get the effect of the look that you get on the Harrier jet. But uh, it's, it's not strictly necessary, but part clipping can be seen as a bit cheaty. However, because I'm not really using it to make the plane up pad, I'm just doing it for the look, because I don't think it's you know, too cheaty. Um, Cool. and the engines do in fact turn. I think I'll just adjust them to make them start so they're pointing down rather than having to remember to turn them around because you know I probably will forget and just end up trying to go forwards. Attach the fuel lines. Now if you're wondering the fuel lines do actually work with the Rototron in the Dan Robotic pack that uh, they do stretch which is kind of cool. Um, that wing looks a bit... no try these ones. A little bit swept back like the ones on the Harrier are, but I, I still don't know about the colour. They do look very kind of boring and grey, but uh, I think I think they'll be fine. Let's just put a load of control surfaces on so we can get a nice, you know, twitchy response. We don't want to be shot down like the jet was, so... Uh, um, playing around with the wheels here. We've got quite a few options because I've got the TT modular multi-wheel pack installed which gives you a load more options for wheels not just you know jet wheels but also rover wheels um, and I think I'm picking the medium sized undercarriage wheels here so uh, mainly because they're bigger so I can have the plane sitting further off the ground I don't have to scrape my engines which probably would be an issue if I chose the regular smaller ones and on the back we put a regular small one there no let's let's change it to the medium ones I think ultimately I decided to go with one at the back instead because 
I didn't want it to look too much like a car. Now I think this is uh, ready to test. The main issue is where the engines are in the center of mass. If they're too far forwards, we'll flip backwards. If they're too far back, we'll just flip forwards and they need to be directly on the center of mass for takeoff. So let's see which way the plane goes. Hopefully it'll go directly upwards, but that's never really going to happen first time around. And... No, 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 we're, we're going backwards. Um, so yeah, we need to move the engines towards the center of mass. So if the center of mass is behind it, yeah, the engine needs to go back. Or we can move the weight further forwards. Yeah, we move the weight further forwards to compensate. So if we bring that gear forwards, that'll move the mass from the back towards the front a bit more. And hopefully that'll make it more balanced. Now, ideally, this thing will go straight up. Just turn on the brakes and let's see. Engine's firing up. And, oh, let's just turn the engine. No, 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 wrong way. Oh, crap. That was not the right way to turn the engine. Um. Ah, crap. Let's just restart that. It looked like it would have gone directly up if I had to actually, you know, point the engine backwards rather than forwards. So, press engine up, and point the engine back. Ooh, perfect takeoff. Oh. Oh no, we're still good. And yes, we have managed to do a vertical takeoff. It's, uh, it's a little bit twitchy on the handling, I've got to say. Let's, uh... See if we can get a bit more height. Back them out. And see if we can, you know, bank this thing at all. Oh, that's that's not banking. Um, well, I, I guess that is banking, but I intended to go the other way. It's just a little bit more sensitive. Um Ooh, let's see if we can buzz the tower. Top gun style. Do 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 Oh ooh ooh that's our shadow. Uh not as close as we could have got, but I didn't fancy pushing my luck considering I'm pretty bad at flying planes to begin with. Okay, now I've got the engines pointing down. See if we can try and land this. Now the problem is as you come to land with these, I tend to find that either the nose wants to dip down or it wants to go straight up. Um, and at the moment I'm trying to fight it to maintain level and try and reduce our forward velocity to zero so that we can land straight down. I mean, it has got wheels equipped so we could do a short landing. But I want to see if it can actually land on a point. I mean, ultimately, I'm not too fussed if we have to just do a, uh, a short landing, which would be a, a V tossle. Vertical takeoff, short landing? Yeah. Yeah, VTOSL. Which doesn't sound anywhere near as cool as a VTOL. But let's see if we can point the nose forwards to reduce our speed. There we go. Now if we go directly down. No, no, we're going backwards. No, 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 no. Now we're going very, very directly down. No. Um. Yeah. Whoa. No, now we're going. No. Oh crap, <laughs> this this is not good. Uh ooh, pull up. Um well I guess that's one way of losing height. Uh let's let's just put it down and land. Um There's our shadow. It's still going forwards a bit too fast. I've got the brakes on at least, so uh land. Ooh Um uh, yeah, well, I guess that's, that's a landing. So, uh, it works. Now, time to fit this out with some weapons. I've already added, uh, the logo of the, uh, Lysian Empire all over the craft. Um, and let's put some ladders on so they can get out. Now, strictly, you only need one ladder, but I decided to put two on just for, you know, to get the mass right so that it didn't flip around. I mean, mass left to right isn't an issue so much as force back, which is very, very important for craft like uh, VTOL. 
but uh, let's just put a spotlight on as well. That way we can see what we're firing at. Um, right now, what, what should we use for attacking? I, I'm feeling. Let's let's just go with a standard sort of plane loadout. You know, have a have a couple of cannons or something, and uh, maybe some missiles or bombs. Matching made bombs isn't a good idea because the bombs that you get in Ron Ferrer's laser mod are a little bit OP, something like this. They're designed to just be used to clear debris fields rather than a normal attack. Uh, they've got something like a 1.5 kilometer range and they just vaporize everything. Which, you, it would work, but it would probably also destroy our plane and the Kerbal Space Center. And it's not really sporting. So, um, the Gatling cannon I'm using here is a slightly modified one from I think, DYJ's miscellaneous mod, which is only the Gatling cannon, really. Um, I could have used the base cannons from the pirated weapon mod, but they tend to have a, a problem with over-penetration and the round just flies through something, doesn't hit it. Which is extremely annoying, because you think you've hit the target, but the round just, you know, ignores you. Now if we put them on the edge of the wings here, and uh, let's grab some missiles. We need to have a laser guidance system, which is from laser mod again. Now the Gatling guns I'm using are a slightly modified version in that um, DYJ only provides one Gatling cannon, and I was sort of thinking, well, maybe you need a light Gatling cannon for sort of your ground vehicles, a medium cannon, and you know, a heavy cannon for spaceships. So I just went in and copied the files and had a little play around with the part dot uh, CFG, which is a config. Um, it's really easy to do if you can just go into your Kerbal directory, find the part, and just copy and paste it. You know, couple times more and then just make sure you edit the DFG, edit the titles and so on so that they're separate and they're unique and you should be fine then from there I think it's at the bottom of the file there's a load of details on fire rate and recoil it's all pretty self-explanatory now for this I think I'm going to use uh, the J missile because it comes in three flavors in the pirated weapon mod you get the laser missile which is from Ron Ferrer's which is included in the Pirate Weapon mod. Um, you get the Wasp, which is faster, um, all around better, I think. And you get the, the J, which is sort of the medium range one. But I just went with that because, I don't know, I, I felt it might be a little bit OP to go straight off the bat and grab the Wasp missile. And let's try this out just to check because they are clipping a little bit through the wings. Yes, they don't blow up our craft, that's always a good sign. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go on an attack run. Now, the problem with this is that it's very difficult to attack an object on the ground because you have to come in very low, fire I think you've got, and then try and pull up at the last minute, and I'm an incredibly bad pilot. So half the time I will actually take out, whoa, 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 that's, that's not a take. Well, I guess that is a takeoff. Um, possibly a, not an optimal takeoff. Uh, it's it's certainly unique, and uh, well, yes. Oops, a bit twitchy. I'm trying to line us up for a shot here, but <laughs> having a bit of difficulty on this one. Um, yeah, the problem I find with trying to do an attack run on the ground is you have to get very close, and because of twitchiness, you're only getting probably on target for like ten percent of the time. Just firing a load of shots here and missing completely. And the recoil gun doesn't help that much. Ooh. Okay, let's let's change this engine's round so the pointing down was after I've got a bit of distance. Yeah. And let's see if I can try and get a slower attack next time and uh, I think we'll give them the cannons. And just go straight in for a missile run. Now, if we use the laser mod and lock on, we can fire the missiles. Though, if I fire them parallel with it, I've got a feeling the missiles might just hit the ground because they have a tendency to dip as you launch them as they get towards the target. So, 
if I hover nearby, point upwards to release the missiles and let them do a sort of a top-down approach. I think that might be best. Um, the problem is I will be trying to keep as much stationary velocity. Oh, there we go. They did some sort of weird circling in motion and yes, we hit it. And something is flying off in the distance. Um, well, that's that's a definitely a good sign. So we've retaliated against the Styx Corporation and the Destroyer. Let's see how much damage we've done. Do a little flyby. And it looks like the command section is completely separate from the rest of the ship. That's uh, that's one hell of a hit. I think we should celebrate and do an alarm rock. Oh, crap. We're going down very fast. Um, more power to the engines. Shit. <sighs> 20 meters from the ground there. Um, yeah, this is definitely a bit of a, a tricky thing to fly, especially when you have the engines pointing downwards and trying to hover around. Oh, crap. Um, um, that's not the way we want to go. Back towards the runway, please. Oh, crap. Uh, let's point the engines a bit more back. Um, ooh, tricky. Um, we're getting more height, which I wasn't intending since we were going to land. Um, let's try and go down. Let's turn that off. Ooh. The laser mod is very loud. Sorry for the assault on your ears there. And uh, this thing is twitching more than a meth head on... Uh, on uh, well, okay, meth. That was probably one of the worst analogies I've heard for a while. Um, I just think maybe a conventional landing. No, we're going back up. Um, no, let's, let's lose some speed. Lose some speed. I'm just afraid that if we lose too much speed, we'll just slide backwards on our tail. Um, we're going down. Okay. Going down. Going down a bit fast. A bit too fast. Ooh. Ooh. Well, um, okay. Well, oh. well. We didn't need them in the end, so uh, I guess that's okay. And we're parked, um, sort of. Uh, let's see if we can adjust this a little bit. Fire up the engine and slide sideways. Ooh, ooh, no, no, okay. Um, apparently we're not. And uh, a successful flight for Jebediah Kerman. That is the uh, beginning of what looks like uh, an armed conflict. And that's the only bit left of the boat. We might just have to go rescue them to uh, show that we're with a better corporation. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please uh, like it or subscribe. Um, and uh, hopefully I will be doing a couple more. Right, um, catch you guys next time. Thank you.